Hi right guys, so it's been a while. I've decided to take on another project because I'm getting bored and want something to do. <laughs> so my car has got a whiny gearbox, so I thought, why not have a go at stripping the gearbox down? As you do, you know. <laughs> so before I show you the inside of the gearbox, I've just taken the cover plate off. I'm just going to show you the gear selection. So this is a four speed selector I've got to spare off an old car I had. This was my very first car, so I only had four gears. The gearbox that used to be attached to this is now in my car because the five speed that's whining is out on the bench, so I put a gearbox in just so I can use the car. Anyway, this is the gear lever. I'm just going to show you the obviously the typical action you use to select your gears, and then I'll move on to the gearbox and show you where it translates onto it. So obviously we've got first, second, third, fourth, and then we've got reverse here. To select reverse, use this little collar here and lift it, which then allows you to move it. And the collar only actually operates inside there, inside there. That is just to stop you selecting reverse instead of first, or first instead of reverse. So obviously we go forward and left for first, back and left for second, forward and right for third, forward, backwards and right for fourth and then if we had a fifth gear we go back forwards and over to the right for fifth and then if we want to reverse we lift the collar up and lift it over to reverse and forwards so how does this translate well here we go so this is my gearbox now obviously it's in a bit of a different position than we would be in the car in the car it would be up like that so you'd have the passenger side drive shaft coming out this way and then the driver side one would go on to where this roll pin here is slot on the roll pin would go through so that's your differential there so on this one this is your select fork that goes inside here and moves up and down accordingly now I've been able to figure out where it would be by simply finding fifth gear which is this top one here so by pulling it all the way out, which would be rocking the gear lever over to the right, like that. You select fifth, like so. Which means that obviously in the middle we're going to have third gear. And over to that side we're going to have first. So it goes like so. Look, one, two, three, four, and over to fifth. Select. And then for reverse we go the other way and forwards like so and then we're back into reverse like that back into neutral sorry so that's just gear selection quite simply like that on the outside it looks very very simple I think you'd agree of course inside the gearbox is where all that magic happens so let's dig a bit deeper shall we so obviously this is our clutch this is our fifth gear selector fork and we've got the gears there we've got the retaining nuts that hold everything on the individual shafts and then in here we've got all the synchro mesh gears and what they do you might notice that they've got arrows on them and what they actually do is imagine two arrows like that and they link together like so they slip in together whereas on older cars it was all straight cut gears like that and you might have heard of the term double declutching well basically what that was was where these synchronize the speed of the engine and gearbox and speed of speed that you're going and allow it to all slot together smoothly in the old days you had to drop it into neutral first take your foot back off the clutch then put your foot back on the clutch which would then mean that the gears would be pretty much going at the right speed and then you slot it in but even then sometimes it's still got a bit of crunching but that's why we have all these gears crossways like so because it means it allows it all to slip together quite nicely and smoothly that's how you get a really nice smooth operation so I'm going to dig a bit deeper take lots and lots of pictures for you keep you in the loop as to how it's going but that's how the gearbox selection works and that's how the basics of the synchro mesh works. I'll um, I'll do another video very soon. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye bye.